anything you do with investigations or labs, we want to compare our answers. We want to see, well, how accurately am I performing the lab? Am I getting the exact same result each time? So what we call that is the percentage difference. So it says if two values of the same quantity are measured, it's useful to compare the precision of these values by calculating the percentage difference. So the percentage difference, first you need the difference in measurements, that means you just subtract them. And then we're gonna divide by the average of the numbers and multiply by 100%. So here's our example. It says calculate the percentage difference if two, me two measurements of acceleration due to gravity are 9.6 and 9.2 meters per second squared. So I'm looking for the percent difference And my first measurement is 9.6. So I'm just gonna write M1 for short. 9.6 meters per second squared. My second measurement, I'm calling it M2 for second measurement, is 9.2 meters per second squared. And I'm looking again for the percentage difference. So to calculate this, I need to calculate a few things first. So the first thing I need to do is get the difference in the measurements. So the difference is equal to M1 subtract M2. And again, I don't really care too much about the negative sign. It just means I went that one before that one or that one. It makes no difference what order I, I came the values in. So it's going to be 9.6 subtract 9.2. And I get 0 0.4 meters per second squared. So that's the first thing I need. I need the difference in the measurement. The next thing I need is the average. So the average, basically I take my two numbers, I add it together and divide by how many I have. So in this case, it'll be two. So it's gonna be 9.6 plus 9.2 divided by two, and that gives me 9.4. Okay, I now have enough information to finish this problem. So if I want to figure out the percentage difference, I'm going to take the difference in the measurements and divide it by the average, multiply it by 100% because I want it as a decimal. So we found the difference to be 0.04. Sorry, the difference was 0 0.4, not 04, divided by my average, which was 9.4. So when I take 0 0.4 divided by 9.4, I end up with 0 0.043. And that's a decimal. So to change it to a percentage, all I need to do is move the decimal place over two times. So one, two, and I end up with 4.3%.